Welcome everybody. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add an object to your photo. To your photo. Um, in this photo I took of my daughter, I'm going to add on some dog tags um, just to show you guys how I did that. I took a, um, a photo off of the internet of some dog tags, and this is what the original photo looked like. Um, I'm going to show you how I got the background off. Um, what I did is I made a copy of my original photo and I'm just going to go ahead and hide these under layers so that way you can see what happens when I start working with this. And I add a mask um, because the nice thing about having masks is when I start erasing parts of this photo if I erase part of the actual chain or part of the actual tag, I can always go back in and paint it back in. So um, this mask tool is really awesome for that. Um, when you add a mask, it normally adds it as um, white, so that means it's going to show everything that is in the photo. When you start painting with black or using your paint bucket with black, um, that's what's going to be hidden. So I always make sure I click on the mask and in this one I'm going to use my wand tool since I have the majority of it is just white and that's what I want to disappear. So I have my tolerance at 20 and I just start clicking on the white pieces. Um, if you click once and you want to add more to your selection just hold down the shift key and you get a little um, addition sign to your wand and that means you're going to add more pieces and I'm just going to click on this shadow because I don't need the shadow as well as this shadow down here and I want to get rid of all the stuff on in the inside of the chain because I don't want that part to be white either and I'm going to get rid of that shadow oh. there we go and I think I have everything that I want deleted, so I'm going to go down to my paint bucket tool, make sure that the black is selected, and I'm just going to click inside there, and notice, if you hit Control D, all of your um, white and uh, shadow is gone. So now I have a working piece um, of uh, necklace that I can work with on my photo. So once you have your photo up, um, you just go ahead and drag over that layer to your new photo. And as you can see, this is a pretty large necklace. I'm just going to go ahead and hide that one for now. So I'm going to resize it so it'll fit. So I hit Control T. And I'm going to grab one of these corners and I'm going to hold down shift and alt because that'll resize um, all of it in um, in constraints so it won't be all disformed and let's see here I think it could be a little bit bigger and uh, that looks about right so just hit your enter key and notice it's already put the picture in there. If you can see, I still have a little bit of a white outline that my um, mask didn't take away, so I'm going to just go ahead and fix that real quick by clicking on the mask, hitting my brush tool um, with the letter B, making sure it's still on black paint, and I'm just going to go ahead and erase that white line there. Now I'm going to want this necklace to look like it's actually on her, not just like sitting on top of the photo. So while my paintbrush is still selected and I am still on the mask layer, I am going to just paint away where it would actually go, where you wouldn't really see it. So it looks like it's actually around her neck. And a little bit right here. get rid of that part. Alright, and there you have it. There's your um, 
your dog tags on, on top of your photo. Now if you wanted to get a little bit more advanced and make it look a little bit more realistic, you can go ahead and add a drop shadow to it because it's not going to be completely flush with her body. And I did a distance of only about one and a size of about four. Let's see here. Yeah, about four. And I brought down the opacity a little bit because I don't want it to be too outrageous, but just enough to give it a little bit of depth. So I did about 49% or 50% and hit OK. And there you have it. There's your photo with the new dog tags on it. And I hope that this helps you if you ever want to input your own, you know, hat or shoes or chair or background, whatever you want. Um, that mask layer uh, is really a fantastic tool. Uh, thank you for watching.